Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Lisa Magoulis. Today we're going to be making mushroom risotto. So I have my pan heating up. I have my broth all nice and warm. When you're making risotto, the broth has to be warm um, in order to help not shock the rice and cook it better. Olive oil, the arboreal rice, some wine, onions, garlic, celery, um, chopped up uh, chives and scallions. My chives are so tiny, so I use some scallions too, and mushrooms. I only had the white in the house. Um, ran out of the portobello. We ate them the other day, <laughs> so I'm just using the white, but you can. it's probably going to be better if you do a mixture of mushrooms. Okay, my pan seems to be um, hot enough to cook the risotto. So we're gonna start with the oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. You want, want to heat that up in there. And we're going to add our mushrooms. Now I have the pan heating up, so it's on medium high right now, but um, I'm gonna lower it a little to cook these mushrooms up, because I wanna sweat them. So I'm going to put it down to low. So it's going to take a while, but the flavor is going to come out again from the sweating. Okay, as you can see, the mushrooms are really nice. Um, I think I'm going to take them off the heat, and I'm going to turn the heat up now because I want to cook the onions. Now, these are really sweet onions, so that's what I'm using. You can use shallots, something sweet. So you're going to want to put the rest of the olive oil in. Um, whoops, turn the heat back up. <laughs> and now add your onion and your celery. And you're going to want to let that cook. Um, you can sweat it again if you want. It does take longer, but the flavors come out more. Or you can saute it on a higher heat. So whatever you'd like to do. But you're going to want to soften that up a few minutes. Um, till the onion's just about translucent, and then you would want to add your garlic at that point. Okay, now's the time to add the garlic. You want to be careful, lower your heat just a little bit, because you just don't, you don't want to burn your garlic. Now, if you have the time, I'd recommend sweating. It does take a long time, but it really does draw the flavor out. If you don't have the time, by all means, like today, you can go right ahead and saute, which sauteing is on a higher heat. Um, put that cook up a bit. Okay, it's been about a minute or two to soften up that garlic. Again, I have the heat on like a medium high, and it's time to add the arboreal rice. You want to keep stirring it until it's covered with the oil and kind of toast it up a bit. Okay, I cooked that up a couple minutes just to kind of toast up the rice. You want to make sure you're still stirring it the whole time. Um, and you'll see some coloration on the bottom of the pan. I did end up having to add another little dribble of olive oil. But what I do is I kind of let it sit for a little bit to crunch it. And then I'll you know stir it up and then let it sit for a little bit and crunch it. So now it's time we were going to add wine. Yay! Wine, wine, wine. <laughs> so see, you can tell I was sauteing because the heat's so high, and that's, that's what you want to do with the rice, because you definitely want to crisp it up. You want to stir this until all the wine dissolves, and then you're going to start adding your broth about a half a cup of it at a time. But I just use like a scoop. And you're going to cook all this wine off. Mmm. Wine, onions, garlic, and celery. <laughs> How can that not smell good, right? The wine's all absorbed, so I'm going to start adding a scoop. And this is the process where everybody says take long because you have to keep stirring and until it's the consistency you want. But again, make sure that your broth is warm. Um, so keep it on the pot, uh, pot on the stove while you're doing this. 
And I forgot to tell you, when I was um, sweating the mushrooms, I did add some fresh ground pepper and a little bit of salt. And that helps draw out some of the flavor in the mushrooms too. And I'm doing this completely vegan. Um, you can use a chicken stock if you want, or a beef stock. Um, totally up to you, but I'm doing it vegan. So, I'm still stirring along. <laughs> the key when you're doing this is don't keep adding the liquid until um, the next scoop of, until it's all dry, until it's evaporated. Do you know how hard it is to talk to the pan and <laughs> not really talking to any human? It's like, duh, what do I say? <laughs> so I'm all like jumbled up. But anyways, I hope you know what I mean. Don't add any more liquid until the previous liquid has been absorbed. That's the trick to the risotto. <laughs> risotto definitely isn't a dish that you're going to want to make if you don't have time. Because you do have to watch it and stir it. And it does take a while. Um, but it all depends on the consistency you want it to when you consider it done. I can tell right now that the starch hasn't gotten out of it enough. And that I can just feel that they're... Risotto is still really hard, so I have a way to go. Um, one cool thing you could do, though, is listen to some motivational tapes or some self-help tapes. That would be cool. Good way to multitask, right? So I just added another broth. I've been adding broth. I've uh, been at this about 10 minutes. And I'm going to say it's probably got another good 10 minutes to go. Do not do this if you're starving. I just finished my workout before this and I'm so hungry right now. So if you don't, if you're starving, don't do this yet because it takes too long before you can eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna have an apple. <laughs> anyway, once you add in the butter and the mushrooms, keep it off the heat, mix it in with your risotto, and you're done. Enjoy. <laughs>